I'm sure all y'all know what shadow boxing is, but it's like try to catch where the person is going. Try to get the best combo that you could do. And my dad, he just finds it funny, like he was weak. This <laughs> funny as hell. <laughs> and then it became like a little competition, whoever could win the most. We always win though, cause me and Drew, nobody could beat us in shadow box. We just had my dad crib, you know, chilling, watching the Celtics game, having a good time. Yo, what is he playing? In? Are those boots? Jimmy Butler gonna hit a three right here. Watch. No, he not a lot. He gonna miss. Oh my. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Celtics seven, but Nuggets winning the championship. Celtics, they gonna win the finals. It's playoff time, so they gotta get the dub. What are you doing, Marcus? Oh, travel! Oh, oh. Do I have time? We on the game? Do oh, we on the game? Nice at 2K. When I was a kid, something we used to do all the time was play the game. You know, play 2K, play Madden. We always laughing and joking. It's a fun thing to do, you know. It takes your mind off a lot of things. Me and my friends almost got in a fight multiple times. That's just how competitive we are. Why you can't take potatoes? Eight quick ones. So you see what's going on already? I feel like that's how we bonded in a way. Being competitive, talking trash to each other. Yo, you got four points. This is like a controller, bro. Look at my controller. That's game, now. That's game. If I get scored on twice, I'm going to start taking it personal. It's all love. Like, we dap each other up and just keep it moving. <laughs> On top. Just got to Phoenix. I think it's like 100 something degrees. The desert. Why not? It's definitely a beatable team. We want all the smoke. You watching the Mellow game because I seen Kia Anthony here. And if he here, Mellow might pull up. My dad came to this session also because it is his organization also. So it's great to have him there on the sideline. We have to close out on shooters. They can shoot the ball. You got a rebound. You got a rebound. You got a rebound, all right? Hey, Mellow on me. Mellow on three. One, two, three. Mello. Mello. First game of a session is always feeling the vibe out and you just go from there. Came out with a steal. I was really just trying to get my teammates involved. Malik, he caught two dunks in the first half. Yeah, he's super athletic. He weighed like two something and he's getting off the floor like that. It's incredible to watch. I feel like it was a different energy this session in the first session. They was clapping, they was cheering for us. It was an energy starter. I had a three. I was getting everybody going, you know, filling up the stat sheet, just doing the best I could. Right now it's 23 to 20, six minutes left in the first half. We down by three, but we still in the game. We going back and forth. Defensively, fellas, listen. We got a guy battle on the ball. What we're doing is we let guys turn the corner and get in the paint on us. So then when we help, it breaks down everything. So let's do a better job guarding on the ball. You understand that? They're making a lot of mistakes. Let's capitalize, all right? Second half, I think one of the kids on Why Not ended up with like 25 points or something like that. And we should never let that happen. And I was 40 to 36. We got to go on a run. We're not trying to lose this first game. Everybody was hitting threes. But I also feel like defensively, we got to do a better job because every time we would hit a three, then they would hit a three. So it really was just canceling out. It's 55 52. We only got nine minutes left. We gotta do something.
Unfortunately, we lost. First game in the session, 75-63. It is kind of hard because we waking up at four in the morning and we jet lag going into the gym. Not making excuses, but it's just like, we just got to work harder. This is the race, it's the marathon, right? We still got two more games left in pool play, right? So sometimes this got to take time to take out of it. So listen, we got to bounce back tomorrow. We get back to the hotel, we get some rest, and we back at it tomorrow morning. Film sessions Good is crucial in every part of basketball. You get an advantage whoever you're playing. You know who the best player is. That's a great way to get ready for the game. When we move, whoever's at this top guy, right, don't stand, don't just stand and take away. I want you to drop down the gap because guess what? If he was a pump fake and drive, you're dead. Even if nobody's middle, you still want me to drop? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. We just can't just stay at one spot. We got to constantly move. Some things we learning, like moving on to the next play. And if you got a turnover, not holding that in for the rest of the game, because that can affect your teammates. What we don't do all the time, fellas, honestly, we don't play hard all the time. Like, we got to continue to play hard every possession. Because as you can see, on this possession, we, we down two. Next thing you know, we down 10. In less than a minute, even with the Rebels, we down seven at halftime. Next thing you know, they just stretch the lead out because once a bad shot go up, everybody just stop playing. Jacob can handle the basketball. Malik can handle the basketball, right? So we don't need you sitting there trying to call for the ball. Get out and run. I quarterback and stuff like that, so that's kind of what I do with this team. You know, quarterback the team. You know, lead out there. Talk to my guys. So look, look. If you're man, if you guard the man right, that's why you're pushing back. Let him throw it back. Whoever's over top the ball. So shade the side. The unselfish one, I guess. Be mindful of that when we got the ball and we in transition, continue to run the floor. When it's like, you know, we're playing together, can't nobody really hang with us. So that's kind of our goal for this weekend is just play together, we'll be fine. Get yourself together, let's lock in. Film sessions very well today. We were able to show them some of the positive things we were doing on the floor. Also some of the negative things. Right. We're seven, bro. Nobody's seen us out. We just want Kyan to continue to just be the best he can be. Learn from those past experiences and he'll be fine. Bro, we gotta win today, bro. We can't lose, bro. We gotta be dogs. Second game, we playing AZ Unity, another team from Arizona. Let's go, man. Let it, let it. One of the first plays of the game, I come off the screen, I had a little step back three on one of the best players. Everybody know this my dad, signature. No fuck. Get back. They go on a run right away. You gone. You gone. They have a five-star freshman on their team, 2026, Brandon McCoy. Nobody knew that he was gonna come out killing us like that. My teammate Trent, he checks in the game. Automatically it's two threes back to back. Boom boom. Yes, Trent! Yes, Trent! Yes! And what? Come on! Unity. They probably had a whole practice before our game. Rebound! 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 Why y'all running, bro? They weren't missing no threes, no shots. Everything was going in. We need more practices. Like we're not rebounding. We only having two practices on the weekends because. People are coming from out of town. It's difficult, but that's what you signed up for. During halftime, we go into the huddle knowing he's about to spaz out on us because we should be winning the game. We got to play hard. Hey. That's just the bottom line. I don't know if they out rebound us, right? They get way more possession than us because we just can't get no stops. When he's yelling and stuff, we just listen to what he's saying because at the end of the day, he is right. Have some pride! Stop in this plane! Come on, man. Trent, he got a tough N1 to put his back in the game. He was killing like he had a couple threes. Trent, come on, Trent. 
he was going from not even playing to now having 20, so that was a great feeling. Good, Trent! Too good! So Toe drove, got fouled. The kid come out of nowhere and blocked the ball. Like Everybody like, go tenor, go tenor. The ref don't see nothing. Ace Unity, hit back back freeze. Switch it! Then the big started killing. We was too deep in the hole after that. We down 20. It's not looking good at all. We all got a rebound, like, they run the team. As soon as we go down, it's like we just fall apart and everybody start trying to go one on one, everybody trying to go for themselves. We're more talented individuals, but most of these teams are more together as one, so that's what we need to do. We gotta get ready for the next game. On to the next CP3. Bro, we owing two, bro. I don't really care about none of that, bro. How you feel about the loss, bro? I mean, I kind of feel like uh, half and half, I would say. Because you had 20, right? You don't care. Uh, I'm going to speak for Trent, bro. He just got on the EYBL scene and stuff like that. But today, he stepped up big time, you know. He had 20 points. Yes, Trent! Yes, Trent! All points we needed because we was losing by a lot. So, that really helped us. My role on the team was just, like, to come in bring energy and my teammates just kept finding me and I was hot that game. That second game really showed how I could do anything for real. So how your recruitment going? Yeah, recruitment wise, I would say like, I don't know right now. This EYBL season, we're very focused on impressing college coaches and getting offers. My first offer was, was Memphis going into my freshman year. Like I was super hyped. Oh, we were playing in the game, right? I look at my phone, look at my email. Guess who emailed me? Memphis University. Hardaway. So I'm just recording. So in a couple years, I can remember this. You know what I'm saying? Like just him, you know, offering me so early. I really gotta watch what I do, you know. So I always gotta be positive when I'm in front of the lights. Since we only sophomores, but well, me and Trent, we still can't talk to college coaches yet. So we gotta wait till June and then start taking official visits. Feel me? We play CP3 later. I just wanna win because. We're not looking too good right now. And I know it's going to be um, a lot of odds on us tonight. Because, you know, Chris Paul and Melo, that hype right there for me. If we win this game, uh, do we still get a chance? Hell no, we're not platinum. We own two. We can't go on three again. Like, everything's bad on that. I'm not can't lie. <clears throat> <laughs> we got to win. Next episode on the evolution. Mr. that's my fault. What is that? I'm good, I'm good. He always talking trash. Take over mode. This kid don't want to win, man. He gonna miss. He gonna miss. He don't want it. Yo, Megan, what you got on? I mean, besides this video on my laptop, I'm rocking the Star Play collection. Sheesh, that's a banger. Where'd you get that? The overtime shop. Duh. Just click right here and get fed like me.